Yeah, Jared, LSU not with the outing that they wanted here to open up the Super Regional here in Knoxville for to the final. Everything seemed to be kind of going their way, and then, of course, the rain delay, and then it just kind of went downhill, especially in the sixth, and that all came down to Chad Dallas. Another career high here tonight against the Tigers, 12 strikeouts. He had 11 Ks against the Tigers back in March, and the top of the batting order just struggled went three for 16 with nine strikeouts that is the first four batters of this LSU lineup just couldn't get it going here tonight Hilliard with another strong outing for the purple and gold five innings of work three hits and three or six strikeouts but it all came down to when coach Paul Maneri decided to put in the freshman at Javen Coleman who had a strong outing there in the Eugene Regional here tonight, not so much. Last weekend, we went to Javen pretty early, and he pretty much dominated the game. So I, I was really happy to get five good innings out of Mikhail. He was really outstanding. We were getting ready to go top of the order. They had already seen Mikhail twice. Uh, I thought Mikhail did a tremendous job. But I, I thought, you know, especially with Ferguson and, and Gilbert coming up the next inning with the, you know, I thought having a left-handed pitcher there that, I had a lot of confidence in. I thought it was, a, you know, the move to make. Javen Coleman was the right guy for that situation, and craziness happened in that inning. LSU now with their backs against the wall. They will have to win two more games in order to make a push for Omaha. But game two, the ace, Landon Marceau, will get the ball to try to get these Tigers on the right side of that scoreboard tomorrow. Reporting live from Lindsey Nelson Stadium, Jared, I'll send it back to you.